What has seven amplifier models, 14 channels of amp tones in general, is under $80 and is purple? The Flamma preamp pedal. What's going on friends? It's your old pal Sean Pierce Johnson here. Welcome back to Stomp Box Saturday where today we are going to go in depth with the FS06 Flamma preamp pedal. Now, Flamma has come out the gate in spades recently. We looked at the overdrive pedal of theirs last week, and the preamp pedal is really ticking a ton of boxes that a lot of guitar players are looking to check off these days. Inexpensive, easy to use, and can get a ton of great sounds direct to your DAW or allows you to play silently with a great guitar tone. This thing is packed full of sounds. And at $80, if you need an option to record direct and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, this one is definitely one to consider. If you can dial in a guitar amp, you can dial in the Flamma preamp. The knobs are level, gain, bass, middle, and treble. All the usual suspects for most every single amplifier that's ever been in existence. Underneath it, you find a save select button and a row of seven LED lights. The LED lights correspond to the seven different amplifier models that are built into the Flamma preamp, which are conveniently listed here on the side of the enclosure. And the save select allows you to cycle through the seven different models that are available to you. But there's a little bit more that you can do with this, so let's kind of get into that. Now, of course, this is save select, meaning you can save preset sounds for each of these amplifiers. So say you're on amp sound one, and you've dialed in a clean tone that you really like, you can press and hold, and then once the LED on the row stops blinking and goes solid again, you've saved that clean tone that you like so much. But then you wanna go to another amplifier model, say the one that's most closely resembles the Mesa Boogie Mark V, just press it until you get to light number six, and then you can play around with that. Save a tone, boom, done, and then go right back to that clean tone that you saved earlier. But just because there's seven preamp models in this pedal doesn't mean that that's all you're working with here. Now the foot switch is really where we're going to access more of this pedal. Now of course you can turn it on and off as usual, and that's how it came set up to me. But there's two channels per preamp on this, and you access that second channel by pressing and holding down on the foot switch. The lights around the foot switch are gonna blink, and then you can hot swap between the blue channel and the red channel on each preamp. However, you might be saying to yourself, okay, preamps, yeah, okay, great, I have seven of them, 14 channels, great, but what good is a preamp pedal going direct if it doesn't have cab simulation? Well, this just so happens to have built-in cabinet simulation. Every single channel has its own preset cab sim that you can turn on and off at your leisure. If you wanna turn it on or off, just simply press the foot switch and the save select button at the same time, and you turn it on or off, and then do it again, you've done what you do. Now with all that said, there's 14 different sounds that we can listen to here, and I'll be the first to admit that not all of them are winners. So instead of going through each clean and dirty channel for each preamp model, I'm just gonna show you all of my favorite sounds that I've conjured up with the Flamma preamp pedal, using a variety of different guitars, and some of the settings may be quite surprising to you. Oh, and by the way, before we get things going, I recorded this without any effects while I was playing, so I'm gonna add some effects like reverb and echo in post. Whatever I use to get those effects, I'll let you know, and I'll also tell you what amp each preamp model is based on. So let's get down to the playing. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
us to an end of our look at the Flamma preamp pedal. At $80, this thing is a great affordable option for recording direct. Now, like I said, not all of the sounds in this preamp pedal are great. There are definitely some that I find, well, less good than others. I do find some of the models to be quite curious choices. For example, the Deluxe Blue is based on the Fender Blues Deluxe. I don't really know why you wouldn't go and base it on a deluxe reverb or a twin reverb, but hey, that's what they chose to do. And it's very cool to see a digital preamp model of a two rock amplifier. You don't often see D style amplifiers and their derivatives put into these inexpensive preamp pedals. I think that's pretty cool. I definitely love the Blue Eye and the HVE 5151, of course, based on the Friedman Brown Eye 100 and the EVH 5153. Those definitely are great amplifiers, but the clean tones on them are kind of like, they're not really amplifiers known for their clean tones, although they do have great clean tones from some of them, uh, it's just kind of a curious little thing. And it's like, oh, wouldn't really gravitated towards that. But having said all of that, it is really hard to argue against an $80 preamp pedal, something inexpensive, very affordable that you can very quickly get rolling with a tone so that you can get to songwriting, get to demoing a new idea, or just having some fun and playing around. I haven't tried this with any of my other external cab sims like the angle cab loader, the Nux Solid Studio, or the plethora of IRs I have at my disposal on my studio computer. But that's not really the complexity that I'm looking for when I'm using this. I'm definitely looking for that quick grab and go solution. And this performs well each and every time. Though I will be curious to try it out in a few different instances with those cab sims, and maybe even seeing how this performs into the front end of an amplifier. But that might be another video for another time. And I do wanna say thank you to the folks at Flamma for sending the preamp pedal for me to check out. I've really enjoyed it. And think if you decide that you wanna get one for yourself, it's well worth the price of admission and you might surprise yourself. And I certainly hope you were all surprised by what you heard in this video today and enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, please do a few things to support me. Give this video a th thumbs up, share the link to it with a guitar playing friend of yours and click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. However, what I'd really love for you to do is head over to my new official website, seanpiercejohnson.com and if you scroll the bottom of the home page, you can sign up for my new email newsletter. Every time I upload one of these videos, you'll get a link delivered directly to your inbox. And I'm going to offer some insight on my website via my blog that I don't put into these videos. And all of that comes at no additional cost, just signing up with your email address. And I promise I'm not going to spam you. Thanks so much for spending part of your week with me, everybody. I hope you had a good time. And until we see each other next, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, wishing you all watching great tone, great health, and of course, happy stomping. Cheers, friends. See you later. God bless.